how to make sure your kidneys are perfect and functioning well. Guys, when it comes down to it, you know me, it's gonna be a focus on the heart and the kidney. I mean, it really is. If you live a long life, these organ systems are gonna get affected without androgens, steroids, testosterone. Just getting older, you're gonna have issues with your heart and your kidney if you live long enough. So you wanna focus on the heart and the kidney. This is a cool case. I have a really cool case to present to you guys. And in the end, I'm gonna give you an assessment and plan for exactly what you can do to make sure your kidney function is completely normal. Because I tell you guys, you don't want to mess up your kidneys. And I know you guys agree with me. So here we go. This is a guy, let's say, in his late 30s. He's a Caucasian male. He's in America and he has done steroids at least 10 years, pretty hard, right? On and off. Comes to me on TRT though. He's done trying equipoise. He's lived on 400 to 750 a week of tests. He's big. He's 5'10". He's 240 something. He loves being big and strong. He loves being jacked and pumped, you know, but he comes to me because he's on his own testosterone between 200, 250 a week, you know, and his sex drive is actually not good. He just feels burned out, tired, and he just doesn't want to give testosterone to himself anymore from the underground. And he doesn't have any doctors he trusts, so he comes to me, which is awesome. So that's the guy, and he has really no medical issues, you know, that, that he tells me about. We do the psychosocial history. We do everything history, physical. Blood pressure is 110 over, like, upper 70s, perfect. But on the labs, when I look at the labs, we look at comprehensive metabolic panel or basic metabolic panel. This is kidney function. You'll see the BUN and the creatinine. His baseline creatinine on the first one I did was almost 1.5. And again, he's, he's muscular, he's, he's a young guy. He has no kidney disease that he knows of that he told me initially, check this out. And then I, I say, you know, this could be, he, oh, no sports supplements. You got to ask your doctor and yourself, when you look at the creatinine that, and the estimation for it, are you taking creatine, monohydrate? Are you taking creatine sports supplements pre-workouts? Guys, I see it so commonly that a guy is worried about his kidneys because the creatinine is elevated, but he's been taking creatine, monohydrate in a pre-workout or whatever, and he... You just have to take, get off it for a week, hydrate yourself, and you'll see the creatinine go down. And that's your real creatinine level. Of course, it's estimated glomerular filtration rate, and you got to put all the stuff together with your history and how much muscle mass you got. So I repeat his, his creatinine, and it turns out to be 1.67, almost 1.7. This is a guy, and we both looked at it together, when I reviewed it with him subsequently within the first couple of weeks, because I said, ah, let's repeat it, you know, take a look at that. And he was concerned, I was concerned, and I, he was not on any sports supplements. He washed everything out, just on a little testosterone. And, you know, I said, sir, it could be because of your muscle mass, and it's basically a false elevation. We know that with the estimation. Or you could maybe have some kidney disease starting off. It could be this could be the, a warning sign, you know? He feels good, blood pressure's good, that's interesting. And that's great. So I send him to nephrology doctor, an academic center of excellence. Okay, he goes to a nephrologist. These are doctors that are internal medicine like me, but they're specializing just in the kidney. Now, it turns out this guy has a urinopelvic junction obstruction. He had it, and he, he goes, oh yeah, I remember. The doctors diagnosed it on him when he was either a teenager or early adult. And let me talk about this a little bit. So he's got a UPJ obstruction, ur uh, it's a urinopelvic junction obstruction uh, that caused his left side kidney to be dysfunctional and atrophied significantly. So what this is, is with the, 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 you have the urinary pelvis you have the, the kidneys come out, ureters come out, and they swing around down into the bladder. And the bladder, you have the urethra, and then out the penis, boom. 
So prostate's right there too, the base of the trigone, the bladder, and that's an issue for men later typically. So this guy had just some congenital stricture or just some inflammatory condition or some fibrosis that led to right where the ureter goes into the renal pelvis of the kidney, it obstructed. And then what happens is the back pressure in that kidney, left side, builds up called hydronephrosis. And that led to, it, as a young man, a teenager, again, he didn't remember, teenager, adult, he was diagnosed with this. It was too late. They didn't do surgery, but he, he was supposed to get it followed up. You're, you're talking, this is, this guy's, this guy, this is like 15 years later. And he's like, oh yeah, you're right. And I don't know if he's had blood tests in the meantime where no one's looked at the creatinine being elevated and just saying, ah, who cares about it? Maybe you're muscular, or maybe, maybe, I don't know, no one really saw it. So this is why you gotta check this stuff yourself, guys. So he's got the uropelvic junction obstruction. And let me tell you the statistics on this. You could, I did the research on this for you guys. This, this is such a cool case. So, and that, this is what led to his elevated creatinine in part. So it's one out of 1500 births. But a lot of these are not picked up until, again, later childhood or even adult. And some of them are not picked up at all. This is why you guys got to pay attention. And I love helping you guys with this. So, again, he was checked. They did an ultrasound. They did an ultrasound, and it showed that he had truly an atrophic, uh, a, a small left kidney. And he had, of course, this UPJ obstruction. And the doctor just noted this. Otherwise, the other right side kidney is normal and larger. It, it compensates and everything looks functional. Now, let me, let me read to you what the doctor said. This is what the doctor said. I have the doctor's note, printed it off here for you. So patient, this is discussion and summary for the analysis and plan. This is to me, the doctor's telling me this, you know, with the patient, what we should do. Because I asked this doctor what to do. I, this, I, guys, I'm a traffic cop. I just direct traffic and I get, I'm just the manager and boom, boom, boom. I love this. So it's, he, the guy, the doctor says, patient has one functioning kidney. His estimated GFR is clearly not accurate given his muscle mass. Wow. I suspect creatinine clearance would be well over 80 if we did a 24-hour uh, collection creatinine clearance. I offered it. Uh, but to the patient, but the creatinine was the same. His creatinine, right? His, so, so when you look for the creatinine was 1.6. The doctor did his research and found out that his 1.6 on the creatine, right? The creatinine level on the B1 creatinine on the, on the, on the labs, he, he's been 1.6 for years. He didn't know that with me. I saw 1.4 and then I saw it bounce up to 1.6. Boom. That's abnormal. So the doctor goes on and says, it's just academic at this point. We will check to, to go out and do the, the he knows the, fun, the other kidneys functioning. Because you really just need one kidney. But this guy's muscular. So, you know, the, all this stuff plays a role. So we will check, listen to this. We will check a, a urinalysis for any proteinuria to ensure that there's not hyperfiltration going on in the right kidney. That, that if that occur, is occurring, he would want to give him an ACE or ARB. That's an ACE, that's, that's medications we use for blood pressure that are renal protective guys, and I'm on them. And that's what I do on the Anabolic Doc app. We review this stuff man per man, and it's just super cool because if you're hypertensive and you have the beginning of proteinuria because you're on steroids or non-steroidals because that's focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, this guy doesn't have it, right? So, but that's something to be concerned of. Do you have it? Do you have a congenital issue? This guy, he, he actually knew about it, but he forgot about it. And he, he should have had follow-ups with nephrology. It's a fascinating case. It's easy. So, one out of 1,500, this is rare stuff. I've seen a few of these, very rare. So blood pressure is excellent, and we should just follow. And then he's telling me, the doctor saying, follow him up, look at the, look at the urinalysis for the proteinuria, and he can come see me. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll see him in one year. This is a fast, absolutely fascinating, fascinating case. Now, what I want you guys to do is this. Here's the take home message. You gotta get your creatinine checked, your creatinine levels, the BUN creatinine. You gotta know your blood pressure, A, B, C, Ds. A1C, B is blood pressure, C cholesterol, D, deposition disease. 
If your creatinine is 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, you really want to get a cystatin C, and you can watch my other videos. And if you have, and check your blood pressure, guys. If your blood pressure is not perfect, this guy has perfect blood pressure, which is, it's unusual, especially he's on testosterone. A lot of guys in their 30s and 40s, unless you're ripped, you're really lean, you're eating no salt, and you have great genetics, your blood pressure is going to be like high 120s over 80s, which is not normal or non-optimal. If you want to live a long life, I want you to have perfect, perfect vital signs. This is what I do. And you, you'll need baby doses of medicines. You got to trust me, guys. Better living through chemistry. So with a case like this, you repeat it. Get off the supplements, right? Clean out, hydrate, repeat it. Repeat it and really see that creatinine level. The BUN, BUN can go up because of protein. So back off on the stuff a little bit. You know, if you're on testosterone, just take the test, repeat things, take a look at it. And if you don't like it, if you're not sure, guys, go to a nephrologist, at least in North America and all over the world, kidney expert nephrology. And they're going to get an ultrasound, right? Like this guy did. And they're going to do a good history. They're going to do urinalysis. They're going to check your blood pressure. And these are the guys that micromanage the kidney with me. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this case. And I hope you realize that how humble you, we should be as we take care of our organs. Again, the heart and the kidney are like little babies. Little, little babies. They, they sit together in the crib. They're little babies. They're, they're very sensitive. You could see that you could hurt them by taking steroids and being hypertensive just by having genetics, congenital issues. This guy's fine for now. We have to watch him. So let's get some comments, guys. Rip it open. Do you guys know this stuff? Have you seen this stuff? Is your creatinine concerning? Is it perfect? Is it elevated? Did a doctor say, ah, it's because of muscle mass? Or did a doctor say, I don't know what to do? Well, if you, do, if you don't know what to do, go to a nephrologist. I really hope you guys like this. Up in Vermont, guys, getting ready to go back to Florida. It's a beautiful summer. Thank you.